Jai Hind students, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing the usage of meter bridge or slide wire bridge so as to find out the resistance of a given wire. A meter bridge is a laboratory instrument used to measure an unknown electrical resistance operating on the principle of a Wheatstone bridge. It is also known as a slide wire bridge. It consists of a 1 meter long wire of uniform cross section stretched over a wooden board. And the wire is made up of constantin or manganin. And this is a jockey. By using a jockey, we can determine the null deflection point on the wire. The figure shows the meter bridge which uses the principle of Wheatstone bridge. AC is a meter long wire which is made up of manganin or constantin and the wire whose resistance is to be found is connected in the arm CD. A resistance box from which a known resistance can be taken out is connected across the gap AD. A sensitive galvanometer followed by a jockey is connected between the points B and D so as to slide over the wire AB. A cell along with a key is connected across AC. This arrangement forms a Wheatstone bridge. This arrangement is known as meter bridge as it uses a 1 meter long wire. And also meter bridge is called a slide wire bridge because during the experiment the jockey slides over the 1 meter long wire. And this is the reason why it is known as slide wire bridge. And students, it consists of metallic strips. Now flat metallic strips offers negligible resistance and two gaps are provided. In the one gap towards left, a resistance box is connected and the known value of resistance can be taken out. This is the gap where the resistance box is connected. And this is the galvanometer which is connected between the points B and D. This is the jockey which is to be slided over the standard resistance wire so as to obtain the null point. It has to be kept vertical. And this is another gap, the gap towards the right. Here the wire whose resistance is to be found is connected between the two terminals. And this is the 1 meter standard resistance wire. And the meter scale is provided so as to note down the balancing length. This is 1 meter standard resistance wire made up of constantin or manganin. Students, this is a Wheatstone bridge in which the four resistances P, Q, R and X they are arranged in the form of a bridge. This is a source and a one-way key which are connected between the points A and C. And a galvanometer and a tapping key is connected between the points B and D. Now, this is the actual circuit diagram of a meter bridge or a slide wire bridge. You can remember the circuit diagram from this particular diagram. We can take the reference of this diagram, right? Look students, this is point A. And this point is C. So a source and a one-way key, a source and a one-way key, they are connected between the points A and C, right? And this is the standard resistance wire, which is made up of constantin or manganin. This point, it is D. Between the points A and D, a resistance of known value is to be connected. This is the known value of resistance. It is the resistance box. It is to be connected between the points A and D. Between C and D, between C and D, the unknown resistance, the wire whose resistance is to be found is to be connected in this particular gap, right? C and D. Now, between B and D, a galvanometer is to be connected. Now, here a galvanometer is to be connected. This is the galvanometer. One terminal is to be connected to point D. And the other one is to be connected to the jockey. And suppose this is the balancing length. The balancing length is that point on the standard resistance wire where 
the galvanometer shows zero deflection, right? Suppose this point is B. Now students look, the galvanometer, it is connected between the points B and D, right? And the resistance offered by this length of the standard resistance wire, that is P. Suppose its length is L. And the resistance offered by this length BC of the standard resistance wire, this is Q. So its length would be obviously 100 minus L. It consists of 100 centimeter of standard resistance wire. So if this length is L, obviously this length would be 100 minus L. Now students while taking reading, it should be remembered that the resistance R is so adjusted that there is no deflection in the galvanometer. So in such a scenario, point B and point D, they must be at the same potential. So when the potential at point B becomes equal to the potential at point D, then no current will pass through the branch BD. So in such a case, the galvanometer will show zero deflection. And this is when the bridge is said to be balanced. And in the balanced condition, we are aware that P by Q, P by Q is equal to R by X. That is, P by Q is equal to R by X. This is the balanced condition of a Wheatstone bridge, right? Now, this is a standard resistance wire of uniform cross-sectional area. And because of uniform cross-section area, the resistance offered would be directly proportional to the length. So here, P would be directly proportional to length L and Q, which is the resistance offered by 100 minus L length of the resistance wire. So it would be proportional to 100 minus L. So dividing these two, we get P by Q. It would be equal to L divided by 100 minus L. So students, by using equation 1 and 2, we can easily determine the value of x. So therefore, from 1 and 2, what we get is, left hand side are equal, so we can equate the right hand side. So r by x, it would be equal to L divided by 100 minus L. That is, x would be equal to r multiplied by 100 minus L divided by L. So this is the working formula. So experimentally, we will determine the balancing length corresponding to the value of R and substituting this value of L and R over here, the value of this resistance of this wire can be easily found. Let us proceed with the experiment and note down the readings. To check the correctness of the circuit, on touching the jockey at the two extreme ends of the meter bridge, the galvanometer must show deflection the opposite direction. Now for observations, let us first take out a known resistance of 0.5 ohm. Now the jockey is made to slide over the standard resistance wire. And it has to be noted that the jockey should be vertical. In this case, the balancing length comes out to be 43 centimeter. Now for the second reading, we will take out a resistance of 0.6 ohm. That is a key of 0.5 and 0.1 ohm is to be taken out. So known resistance R is equal to 0.6 ohm. Now the same step is repeated. Corresponding to the value of R equals to 0.6 ohm, the balancing length is found to be 47 centimeter. Now for the third observation, we take out a resistance of 0.7 ohm. That is 0.5 and 0.2 ohm keys to be taken out. Now again the jockey is slided and the balancing length is found. In this case, the balancing length is determined to be 51 cm. Now for the fourth reading, we take out a resistance of 0.8 ohm. Corresponding to the resistance of 0.8 ohm, the point where the galvanometer shows zero deflection is noted down. And this is known as the balancing length or the balance point. Now let us note down the readings in this observation table. We have found that corresponding to capital R is equal to 0.5 ohm, 
the balancing length is obtained to be 43 centimeter right so 100 minus l it would be 57 and accordingly x1 it would be equal to r that is 0 0.5 multiplied by 100 minus l that is 57 divided by 43 so it comes out to be 0.66 ohm similarly we have observed that corresponding to the value of known resistance of 0.6 ohm that is 0.6 ohm from the resistance box which is towards the left gap of the meter bridge the balancing length is obtained to be 47 so 100 minus 47 this comes out to be 53 so in this particular reading the value of the resistance of that unknown wire would be 0.6 multiplied by 53 divided by 47 we are using this formula which we have just now derived so this students comes out to be about 0.67 now in the third reading corresponding to 0.7 ohm the balancing length is obtained to be 51 centimeters so this becomes 49 so x3 substituting this value over here we get 0 0.7 multiplied by 49 divided by 51 which comes out to be 0.67 and in the last reading we have observed that corresponding to the value of resistance R equals to 0.8 ohm, the balancing length is found to be 55 centimeter. So BC, which is 100 minus L, it would be equal to 45 centimeter. So accordingly, the value of the resistance of the unknown wire X4, it would be equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by 45 divided by 55, which comes out again to be 0.65. Students, we take series of observations so as to reduce the experimental error and thereafter the resistance value of the given wire would be given by the arithmetic mean of all these observed values. Arithmetic mean is sum of all the observations divided by total number of observations. So substituting the value, it comes out to be 0 0.66 ohm. So this is how the value of the resistance of the given wire can be easily determined by using a meter bridge or a slide wire bridge. Now students here one should remember that the connecting wires it must be cleaned and the connecting points of meter bridge it should be cleaned properly with sandpaper and it has to be ensured that all the connections should be neat and tight and the most important point is the balance point it should lie between 40 centimeter and 60 centimeter. So all the resistances P, Q, R, X are in the same order, right? And these are the some precautions which we need to take while performing this particular experiment. So the resistance of the given wire is obtained to be 0.66 ohm. Now students, in the same experiment, uh, the resistivity, which we call the specific resistance of the given wire can also be determined. Now look, the resistance of a given wire, it's directly proportional to its length and inversely proportional to its area, isn't it? So, the resistance of the given wire is given by rho L by A. L is the length of the wire, A is the cross-sectional area. Rho is the specific resistance of the resistivity. So, the formula for the specific resistance of the given wire would be XA divided by L. So x is the cross-sectional area, which is pi r square. Now radius to it, it's equal to diameter divided by 2. So it can be written as pi r square by L. R is the radius, which is equal to d by 2. So that would be pi d square divided by 4L. Right? Now look, x, this is known to us, which is 0.66 ohm. Pi, it's a standard value, 3.14 diameter of the given wire that can be easily determined by using a screw gauge right and l is the length of the wire it has to be mentioned over here that length of the wire is the effective length between the two terminals not the end-to-end -end measurement right it is the length of the given wire which is between the two terminals like these are the two terminals given this is t1 
and this is T2. I am talking about the gap which is provided on the right hand side of the meter bridge where the unknown resistance wire is to be connected. So this is the unknown resistance wire suppose. This is X. So you need to exclude these wire. This, this, this length is to be excluded. So the effective length would be this one between the terminals T1 and T2, right? This is the effective length. So which can be easily measured by using a ruler, isn't it? So knowing the value of L, knowing the value of diameter of the given wire, which we can easily find using screw gauge and knowing the value of X, which we have determined earlier, we can easily find out the specific resistance or the resistivity of the material of the given wire. So students, we have uh, completed both the objective. I mean, we have found the unknown resistance as well as the resistivity of the given wire. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.